welcome back to my channel all right guys so I just got home from the football game it's Friday night and I'm <laughs> all dressed up in my pins Fife High School go big bread <laughs> and also this is my grandson his picture so I am representing here today on or tonight rather on Yota style so yeah we just got in from the game and I said you know I think I'm gonna go upstairs and film my video and just you know so I can get it up hopefully tomorrow Saturday or Sunday but anyway you guys yeah Friday nights are so much fun for us it's football night and my grandson you guys is a senior Oh my gosh, I don't know what we're going to do on Friday nights after this year. We'll still support the football team, but <laughs> it just won't be the same without Evan being out there. But anyway, you guys, yeah, we just got in and I have something to reveal to you. It's Louis Vuitton. Yes, I do. It's not going to be a true unboxing, you guys, because I've had it for a while and I'm just now getting around to showing you guys what I got. So if you're interested to see what I have to show you stick around. I kind of like filming at night. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I usually film during the day, but this is the second video in a week that I have filmed at night. Anyway, you guys, I actually fixed my hair today. <laughs> so I usually just pull it back because it's so hot, but I actually fixed my hair today. When we were at the game tonight, everybody was getting me mixed up with my daughter because she always wears her hair really big and I usually pull mine back. So I was liking that a lot. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I do want to show you my bag of the night. I don't know if it's going to be the bag of the weekend. I'm not sure, but I love this little coach backpack. I actually got this at the coach outlet in Destin. And then, of course, this little ladybug coach charm lives here. And I love this backpack, you guys. It's just a little mini backpack. And I've been thinking about picking up another coach backpack maybe a black one I don't have a solid black one I used to have a coach backpack and I gave it to my niece but I love this size in particular so yeah you guys this is a fun little backpack I always get a lot of compliments on it and the lipstick I'm wearing is Chanel it's a new color that has come out I meant to bring it up here with me but I'm going to list it in my description box as the lippy of the day because I do get a lot of questions about the lipsticks that I'm wearing so I'll definitely list that and I will again list my Mercari information and sometimes I say I'm gonna list things and then I upload the video and leave things out and you guys are always great that uh, you let me know <laughs> hey where's that information or where's that link so yeah if I leave something out you guys you guys keep me on my toes, that's for sure. But I do appreciate all of you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've had quite a few and it won't be long until I get to 6,000 subscribers and we're gonna do a giveaway and I'm going to do a painting. If there's something that you guys really want, how about this? How about you guys tell me, what do you want me to paint for the 6,000 subscriber giveaway? Actually, that would be a whole lot more fun. So yeah, just tell me what you would like me to paint and I'll paint it for my 6,000 subscriber giveaway. That sounds like a lot of fun. So yeah, you guys, just leave it in the comments section. What would you like to win if you win the 6,000 subscriber giveaway? Okay, guys, before I go any further, because I cannot stand it when YouTubers leave me hanging, so I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. Now, before I reveal my Louis Vuitton, my latest Louis Vuitton bag, acquisition. I do want to say that Keith actually bought me this bag. I have wanted this bag ever since it came out in 2021, but I always say we can't have them all, or can we? <laughs> we can try, right? All right, so I've been going through a bit of a difficult time in my personal life and I was a little down and Keith said, I know what'll make you feel better a Louis Vuitton handbag. I said, are you going to take me to Atlanta? He said, no, just pick out something and I'll get it for you. And so I did. I called Becca and it is the Louis Vuitton Passy bag. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. It would have been exciting had I done a real unboxing, 
but I've had this bag probably probably five or six weeks I guess at least five weeks I've had it a while I've used it quite a bit and I love it I can't believe I have this bag now look how fat it is on the side it holds so much oh it's got some stuffing in it right now but it holds so much this is the best casual everyday bag I know I say that about a lot of them but you guys this was available on the website but I always like to go through my SA Becca she takes care of me she's wonderful and so I let her know the bag that I wanted and she shipped it to me like the next day she's always so fast and so wonderful and of course I do leave her info in my description box but you guys <gasps> now I have to say I know that Louis Vuitton has moved into a lot of the leathers and their leathers are beautiful but in my opinion this is a Louis Vuitton bag I love canvas I love Ebene I love Azure and just the classic canvas those are my all-time favorite Louis Vuitton bags and I have made a effort to put more canvas into my collection and I could not be more thrilled with this I love this big logo here on the front it has a very strong magnetic closure and look at the inside look at that beautiful kind of burgundy microfiber lining now I'm not gonna go through all the specifics of the bag right now because I am planning to do a first impressions and that's something that I wanted to let you guys know I am going to do a lot more bag reviews from now until the end of the year because I haven't done a lot of bag reviews this year and I feel like I really should I feel like I'm doing a disservice by not doing it because I know that most people who watch luxury youtubers they're looking for something some of them just watch because you know they we have a connection and I have lots of subscribers who watch me just because they watch me and I appreciate you guys so much but a lot of people they go on YouTube looking for help and they may be contemplating maybe buying this bag or another bag and they're looking for reviews which is so helpful especially if you live somewhere like I live and you can't just go to a Louis Vuitton store that easily my closest one is in Birmingham which is about an hour and a half away so I do plan to do more reviews as a matter of fact Tuesday I'm going to be reviewing my coach Madison bag and also my mint and surf bag both of the bags that I got in Philly when I was visiting Dawn so I'm going to review both of those bags show you what fits and all that so that's coming up on Tuesday actually I'm also going to be doing a full impressions on this bag on Thursday next week so Tuesday and Thursday of next week will both be first impression video and I hope that I'm helpful for anyone considering this bag and the last time I looked it was available on the website I feel like this is a very casually chic bag now I didn't take it to the ball game and normally when I go to a ball game I usually carry this or something one of my coach bags but I love to take a backpack but I could and what I'm wearing is just these little overalls and so it would have been cute with this but I don't normally take bags like this to the football games but I do dress very casually and this goes with my aesthetic and you guys I just absolutely love everything about this bag it is it's everything a Louis Vuitton bag should ever be and it has this back pocket but anyway you guys that is my Louis Vuitton reveal Keith is so sweet and so good to me and I'm just so thankful that he got this bag for me so I'm excited that I finally shared it with you guys but I do have some things to say to you guys about luxury handbags and really luxury in general because you guys know the price increases they're never gonna stop and you know there have been so many videos made about price increases Chanel's having another one Louis Vuitton's having another one it's never gonna stop okay so you either you either buy them or you don't and you know everybody has their own comfort level when it comes to buying a bag now this bag 
I think it's around, I don't know the exact price, but I would say around $2,500. That, I'm comfortable with that, especially a bag that I'm going to use for many years, and I'm comfortable with that. Now, really much over that, I do it occasionally, but I don't like to. And I have a very nice collection, and yes, I'll always buy luxury handbags. It's my thing. But you guys, Coach has really, really come to the front runner. You guys, they are fabulous. And the designs keep getting better and better. And I love Coach. I'm very passionate about Coach, especially now. I know there was a time back in the early 2000s where I really, I didn't like it. And really, since then, they have changed drastically. But even with Coach pricing, like my Mint and Surf bag, $7.95, that's a lot for a Coach bag, especially, you know, the average Coach prices and how they always go on sale, 25, 35% off. But I feel like because of the luxury brands, they just keep rising in price. The same thing is going to happen with Contemporary. And I knew when I bought the Mint and Surf bag that it was expensive, but I don't know if those bags will go on sale. I really don't. I know the Basquiat collection, they did, but for me, it really didn't matter because it was a special time. I was there with Dawn. We were having a fabulous time. So that bag also has, you know, a significant memory for me, and so it's a very special bag, but I don't want to get off track. I do want to say Yes, I'll always buy luxury, but it is definitely going to be fewer and farther in between. There was a time when I would buy four or five luxury bags a year, and you know, that was always excessive, and I know that because I was just like, oh, I gotta have this, I gotta have that. But I don't really feel that way anymore because my collection is very it's an it's at a nice point now will i ever have bag peace hell no not as long as i'm breathing <laughs> because bags are my thing and i'll always buy a luxury bag but they are going to be fewer fewer and farther between because this is the way i feel about it i feel like i want them to be special and i mean every bag is special to me and this one was very special because i wasn't expecting it and keith just said i'll get you a bag and i knew that i had wanted this forever i was able to get it i just i just feel like you know there's no sense in complaining about the prices going up i even read an article where it said do you think someone was asking do you think the Chanel bags will ever go down in price. I personally don't. I mean, they just keep climbing. And Chanel, for me, if I bought one Chanel bag at the prices they are now, and that was the only bag I got that year, luxury, I would be comfortable with that. But if I were buying five or six bags a year, I'm not comfortable in spending 5,000 plus for a bag, okay? So, but if it's a splurge, if I'm on a vacation with Keith and it's a special occasion and I get that special bag that's really out of my comfort zone I won't feel as bad about it I don't feel guilty about bags at all but I do feel like there's a point where we can just really become excessive and I've definitely been there and I'm taking a step back I'll always be unboxing bags and you know coach bags all day long because you know, even at the prices they are now, if I use them, some of them really are forever bags. Like my Madison bag, I am absolutely obsessed with that bag. My Mint and Surf, I love it. If you're an artist, you have to have that bag. And I just feel like, you know, I'm going to be more selective when it comes to luxury purchases. And what I'm saying now has to do with luxury handbags in the $2,000, $3,000 range. I do consider Coach luxury. Personally, I do. It's very luxurious to me. But I'm not talking about Coach. I'm talking about the really uber expensive bags. Because when a Coach bag makes me as giddy and as excited as they do now, like the Pillow Madison and my Minton Surf, yes, 
I'm going to go more down that route than I ever have before. Now, as far as luxury bags go and as far as this bag goes, these are my kind of bags when it comes to Louis Vuitton. I know that Louis Vuitton is really pushing the leather bags. If you go in a boutique, you're going to see leather bags everywhere. You don't see that many canvas bags in the actual boutique. And for me, the canvas bags when it goes to when it comes to Louis Vuitton, the canvas bags, they get my heart. This is where my heart is. I love them. Yes, I'm a logo ho. I always say that, you guys. I don't apologize for it. I love logos. Look at that big LV, you guys. I love it. And as far as all of the leathers, if I just want a really nice leather handbag that's luxurious, I'm going to go with Coach. Now, this is just that pebbled leather, but like the one on my pillow, Madison, I mean, really, you can't get any better than that. And you guys, I'm so obsessed with that bag. But if I want a leather bag, I'm going to go Coach because I'm just as happy and just as thrilled and just as giddy with leather, that soft leather, oh my gosh, as I am paying the big bucks for Louis Vuitton. And that's just how I feel about it. And as a matter of fact, in the spring, I would love to have maybe a smaller Azure bag. So when it comes to leather, it's gonna be, for me, coach all the way, coach the leather is fabulous and they just keep getting more and more fabulous and I absolutely love them. So why? Why? That's what I asked myself. Why would I want to spend upwards of $3,000 or more for a leather? And that's really on the low spectrum as far as Louis Vuitton goes. When I could get one for $500 from Coach. That's just me, you guys. I know that I've heard other YouTubers say that they don't even look at the monogram bags anymore. I heard somebody say that recently, and that's fine if, you know, if that's what you want. You want the leather, the emprunt leather, and I love it. It's lovely, but for me, as far as the money goes, I don't think it's any better, especially when you consider the cost. So that's how I feel about luxury bags. Now, there are lots of luxury bags that I would love to have, but I always say we can't have them all, or can we? <laughs> but I would love, love, love to have a classic flap, you guys. Just one classic flap. But I will not pay $10,000 for a classic flap. I will not, but no. I, I just, I, I could not allow myself to do that. Even when it comes to a Birkin, it would have to be a really good deal if I ever get another one. And I always say, I would like to have another one, but it's not at the top of my list. Maybe when the time is right, maybe one of these days. And even as far as the classic flap goes, if I find an older one at a really good price, then yes, I would jump on it. And I haven't even been really actively looking I because I know people that sell them and yeah, I could do it, but I don't know. Right now, I just don't feel is the right time. And also you guys, the economy is bad. <laughs> and I just, I, I really want to limit the amount of money that I'm spending on handbags, especially given the place where my handbag collection is now. I'm very happy with it, but yes, there's always another bag out there, but as far as the high dollar bags, that's what I'm talking about. I will not just continue to buy one after the other like I've done in previous years because I have I have really, you know, spent overspent on handbags and you know, if you want to do it, that's fine. It's just how I feel because you know, it has a lot to do with different variables, the economy, you know, the stock market. You never really know what's coming down the pike in the future, but I'll always be a handbag lover. I'll always buy luxury bags, but unless it's that one special bag, like maybe one day I'll get my classic flap or maybe if I get another Birkin and really if I had my choice between a Birkin and a classic flap, I would go classic flap because that's just how I feel. 
I sometimes wonder if I'm making the points that I really want to make from my heart, but as far as luxury bags go, I will always buy them. Let's recap here. But not as often. I love coach. I love coach. I love coach. And <laughs> and I've said this before. I've had people to come in on my comments and say the coach is not luxury. Well, it is luxury to me. I know it's a contemporary brand, but it's very luxurious, you guys. And I also want to say watch for the price increases because they're inching up. They're inching up and they are, yes, as far as the quality goes, the quality is there. I really have never got a coach bag that I felt like this is not a good bag. I feel like the quality is there and just think about it like this. Would you want to spend $2,500 for a luxury, a luxury Gucci bag or $500 to even say $700 for a coach bag when they're pretty much equal as far as craftsmanship goes and quality and all? All that so yeah I'm getting more and more to the point where I am just like yeah coach because why do I want to spend all the extra money when I love the bag just as much so I would love to hear what you guys think about all this now sometimes you know you do see a bag it comes along that just grabs your heart and you just really can't sleep at night until you get it and actually this is one of them I saw it when it came out but I was going through that phase where you know <sighs> You know, I tried to ignore it and then Keith was so kind and said, let me buy you a bag. And <laughs> so I knew the one that I wanted. So yeah, so I'm very thankful. But as far as leather bags go, you cannot beat coach. Okay, so with that being said, that's really all I have for you. I'm excited about this gorgeous bag. So happy to have it. So thankful for all of my many blessings. And I'm just, I just love it, you guys. It, it really does make my heart sing. It really does. <laughs> and I love all of you guys. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And thank you for all of you who have been with me for three years now. I can't believe anybody, honestly, anybody would want to tune in and watch me for three years. <laughs> I didn't know I had that much to say, but apparently I do. But anyway, you guys, you all mean so much to me. I absolutely love you guys. I will be back very soon, and we will do the first impressions on my two coach bags on Tuesday. But anyway, you guys, have a wonderful day, evening or night. I love you all so much, and be kind to everyone. Mwah.